Welcome back. We continue our breaking news coverage. No charges will be filed against the Madison police officer who shot and killed 19-year-old Tony Robinson. Charles Benson is live in Madison with reaction from the Wisconsin Professional Police Association. Charles? Yeah, they have just listened to the news conference. We're joined by Jim Palmer, who is the executive director. You sat through or you were here listening to that news conference. You heard that uh, there will be no charges against Officer Kenny. What was your thought process and reaction? Well, we think this is the right decision. Uh, and clearly, you know, there has been a, a lengthy, independent, and transparent investigation. Um, Wisconsin is the only state in the country that has a law that requires uh, an investigation like this. Um, we're, we're pleased with the result. We think it's appropriate in, in terms of applying the specific facts of this case and, and the law. What stood out to you in terms of what Officer Kenny did and why you believe the DA made the right call? Well, it seems pretty clear that uh, Officer Kenny was confronting a deadly threat, and that's something that some people in the general public um, are, are going to uh, don't appreciate uh, perhaps as much as you know the reality that officers face, and that is an unarmed individual can absolutely pose a deadly threat. Officer Kenny uh, was attacked. Uh, he suffered a concussion along with some other injuries, um, and his only option was to use lethal force, unfortunately. Okay. You have been representing Officer Kenny. Uh, how has he, uh, does he know about the decision? Have you talked to him about the decision? Uh, he does know, and I have uh, spoken with him, and um, he is he's pleased. Um, he thinks this is the right result. Uh, anyone who knows Matt Kenny knows that he's a, a pretty straight individual, so it's not as if he's elated. Um, it's not lost on him that a, a family has suffered a tragic loss. And uh, even though this is the right result legally, uh, it's still a tragic incident, and we're, that's not lost on anyone here. Is he prepared to go back to work? Uh, he is very much looking forward and he's eager to get back to work. Give me your thought process uh, with these uh, officer involved shootings now getting such intense scrutiny, not only here in Wisconsin but around the country. Uh, what is it like for law enforcement now and officers to know that anytime they, they use their weapon, it's going to get a lot of scrutiny? Well, I think that's been the case for many years. Um, I think in Wisconsin we, are, we benefit from the fact that we do have a, a, this law that no other state has that mandates an independent and transparent investigation. It's a law that we supported and we championed along with others. Um, and I think that helps, uh, that helps provide us with some amount of um, uh, cover, so to speak, in terms of the, the public knowing that these matters will be you know, independently reviewed and, uh, and, and that, that investigation uh, will be done in, a, in an unbiased manner. What is your concern going forward, though, about law enforcement and officers in this environment where things are tense and people are not feeling confident about that relationship? Well, I think, you know, we recently uh, c conducted a statewide poll through the St. Norbert College Strategic Research Institute, and, and despite what the perceptions that some people may have when, they, you know, they see the, you know, the media themes that have emerged over the last year and a half, um, in the three years we've been con conducting this statewide poll, the approval rating for local police officers in Wisconsin was as high this year as it's ever been. And so I think most people in, in Wisconsin recognize that we are blessed with some of the best law enforcement officers in the country. We are ahead of the curve in terms of the training that we provide our officers, uh, and with the, the, the commitment that they uh, maintain uh, to community-oriented policing, and I think uh, we benefited from that. It's, these are always going to be a high, uh, you know, heightened, uh, they're always going to get heightened scrutiny, and that's something that officers have to accept. As we saw in the Baltimore situation, the police department there issued a concern to law enforcement across the country that gang members may be uh, looking to target officers. Uh, what concerns do you have about that specific situation, and are you hearing anything related to Wisconsin? That is a, very much a concern. And I think, you know, w we in Wisconsin have demonstrated that, you know, Madison is not Ferguson. Uh, now it will really be a test uh, for this community to, uh, you know, demonstrate that it's not Baltimore either. Uh, we have heard uh, reports uh, from the Madison Police Department that there are some that uh, uh, wish to inflict harm upon police officers. That's something that we're very wary of, and I know that uh, the officers working tonight and in the weeks ahead will be uh, uh, extremely and extraordinarily diligent. Jim Palmer, we appreciate your time. A reaction there from the Wisconsin Professional Police Association and uh, saying that Officer Kenny uh, has gotten word of this information and is looking forward to coming back some point to be with the Madison Police Department. Steve and Courtney. That was our Charles Benson live in Madison. Thank you, Charles. Uh